change is all around me. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot the voice. I'm... I think I have to go to the library. I just need to keep an open mind. I think I needed to go to the library anyway. I just, I, I forgot. Yeah, I think I need to go to the library. But I can change it to a meal and tell me what. Alright now, Emma. Concentrate. Every change occurs over a given parameter. So to preserve a state in that change... I need to know how it's changing? Hmm. It's a good thought. But I'm missing something else. Alright, try something else, to preserve a state in a change. Do you have... Roy's joke and jokes and their relation to the unconscious? Yes, of course. It should be in the psychology, psychology section. What about... Um, oh yes, uh, three essays in the theory of sexuality. On the theory of what? Um... Sexuality. <laughs> There's a waiting list for that one. May I have your name? My name? Oh... Um... Never mind. I should try another approach. To preserve a state in a change. I need to know why it's happening. Hmm. If I do this... No, that's too general. Alright, try something else. To preserve a state of state in a change. How are you today, Frau Renikdek? I'll be. Herr Wittgenstein. I heard about your father. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. What can I do for you? I wanted to return Russell's principles of mathematics. In Frege's Grand Gazette der Arithmetic. Were they helpful? I've only read Frege's book. At first I believed the books were in conflict. While I was in England, I studied them again and again. I almost gave up on them. It wasn't until crossing the channel after putting both books down for a while, that I began to see the commonalities. If only I could find the right words to describe to you what that felt like. If you don't know how to talk about it, maybe you shouldn't. What? Ha! Hmm. Whereof, whereof one cannot speak, Thereof, one must be silent. A good philosophy, Crown Enigzak. Good day to you. Good day, Herr Wittgenstein. The change in his thinking came from observations. At first, he was too close, but then... He changed his perspective. When did Ludwig see the commonalities between the two books? On the ferry across the channel. Sine and cosine? That's it. His change of mind came about in the few hours between Dover and Calais. A change can only be observed in a certain time frame. I need to go home and write this down. But... I'll quickly put these away. Uh, half an hour later. Grove 
books runs parallel to the exit of the library. You only put books there if they are not very valuable. Uh, that's the row for books on physics. That's the row for books on chemistry. That's the row for books on biology, and this man is still here. That man is irregular. Uh, incomplete theory. Thanks to Wittgenstein, I know how to proceed. Let's leave. Now let's... Um, so change happens over a given parameter. Interesting. Pardon me. I'm looking for an address. Salvatore Gas uh, 23? Am I headed in the right direction? Yes, you are. The building is just there. You know, someone who lives there? Yes, my niece, Nicole. I visited her a couple of times before, but I still get lost in the city. Ah, I know her. She's my upstairs neighbors, in fact. Please tell me, how is she? Is she happy? You are her uncle, you say? To be honest, no. My sister and her husband travel a great deal. Are they looking after her? Oh wait! Is this... Is this Le Le Leo? Is it her? Are they looking after her? She is alone much of the time. Alone? How dreadful. Thank you for being so honest. If you'll excuse me. Yes, of course, let's go. What the? What is this? The whole world is full of math. What surprises await me today? Is this on the mind? Luna. Hmm. Wittgenstein's thinking changed. Whoa. Hmm. Is it? Yeah? Every second? No. He observed the change in a given time frame. Change can only be observed in a given time frame. Of course, you can only see a falling leaf while it is still falling. Time to impress the radius. What's this stuff? Ooh, come on now. Good day. Yeah, let's go. I mean, go more there. Okay. Can we talk to Rita? Yes. You have to excuse me. I'm very busy right now. Okay, let's go to the radius. The Euler method only works up to a certain point. Nonsense. You probably just made a mistake somewhere. Why you? Again. Now I can solve the problem? Ah, Shell. Why don't you try your luck with this week's problem? Zala is making them hard every week. Well, of course. So? Get to it. Hmm. We're trying to find correlations between crimes. Hey, wait, sorry. That was Zala. Numerology. Not my strong suit. Oh. Times. The prime number. Yeah. 
one, then a two, then a three, five, seven, eleven, five, what? Five. Uh, two, three, five, eight, seven. Eleven, thirteen, seventeen. They're odd numbers mostly, I think. What the heck is this? It's an idea, but non conclusive. Oh. Whoa! Corners that aren't primes. Hmm. Maybe not. What the frick is that? There's something here. Sometimes these straight lines appear. Almost. As if the numbers have a certain pattern to them. Interesting. But I think... I think they do. He's got it. If I extrapolate. Is that... A new method to find primes? It looks it, it looks conclusive. So again, gentlemen, our guest from Berlin triumphs. Luck of the Germans is with him. Nonsense, our colleague has a gift. That is clear. I agree. It's quite remarkable. Gentlemen, gentlemen. It is only in your company that I flourish. Is it trying to ridic ridicule us? No, you misunderstand. You might have already. You just don't didn't notice. I assure you. Bromley Hospital, sir. Gentlemen, you you must excuse me. You might have diabetes. Herschel, would you like to join me outside? Some Sachet torte and coffee, perhaps? My treat? Certainly. Okay. We talk to these dudes. Alrich is still asleep. Huh. Shell! Shell, how goes your research? It really is more of a hypothesis, Nikki. In fact, I seem to have made progress. Well, let's hear it. Let's him finish. Changing behavior always occurs over time. This is a rule I am certain of. Aha! Well, it seems quite a universal claim. I agree, yet. Yet, if you replace time by any other parameter, it underscores the meaning of occurrence, Nikki. But it all seems a bit generic. Where are you going with this? Indeed, however, however, Verm, a, a general rule is needed upon which, is, which to base the remaining axioms. This certainly defines change. You certainly change your tune. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh. What did the triangle say to the circle? You're so pointless. <sighs> Why didn't we make a joke? Alright, let's go to the cafe. Change is all around me. I just need to keep an open mind. Yes? You have to excuse me. I am very busy right now. <gasps> oh, it's the artist. It is him, right? Can I look at him? Can I just... Him? He seems busy drawing something. I don't want to intrude. <laughs> oh, it's colliding the two episodes. Fantastic. Oh, join Nano. What was that all about? Back in the radius. Zala's sister is terminally ill with tuberculosis. I'm sorry, truly sorry to hear that. My father died of it. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Father always encouraged me. 
believed in me. I became a mathematician because of him. I'm glad he did. I got to meet you because of him. I am intrigued by your notions of change, states of change and the collapse of such states. I admit I am struggling with it. I might have bitten off more than I can chew. I don't think so. Just wait until we get our cake. And I'll show you what it looks like. The bite of more than one can chew. <laughs> if you really feel that way. I probably shouldn't mention it. But this is Zala's field too. But he is proud, a proud man and may be disinclined to help. I believe he's beginning to consider you a rival. You might try Elric. Elric. He has done some similar work. Every time I approach him, I find him asleep. <laughs> yes, he does enjoy his afternoon, afternoon naps. A difficult wall to breach. Would you look at my equations? I would value your opinion. If you, if you like, but I assure you this is outside my expertise. Thank you, Nana. You are a good friend. Here we go. Gentlemen, please pardon the intrusion. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Franz Marker. The artist? Sir, uh, this is an honor. I saw your latest painting. The lieutenant? Captivating. What can we do for you? About your, f about your friend here, uh, Shell, Emil Shell, you must forgive me, but I have been studying you from across the room. Oh? The layers of you are contradictory somehow. Layers? Contradictory? Not at war with one another, but a duality. Changing. At first I thought one thing, but later I saw another in conflict with the first. Changing, you say. I want... I must paint you. I would be honored. Excellent. You present a challenge I have never faced before. But I promise you, I will capture you. Our workshop is at Holland... Hollanderstrasse 10. Alt. <laughs> Isn't it? No, not Alt. Strasse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Please come at your earliest convenience. Gentlemen, pray continue your luncheon. Brands Market. In the beginning, he thought of he thought differently about me. Then then in the end. I must leave now. Go along. I might just help myself to another piece of such a thought. <laughs> I need to go home and write this down. Go home. We've been home twice now. It's a lot of walking and traveling. And no. It's too much too hot in here, dressed like this. I think we go straight to the board. Just write it down. Hmm. The painter. When he first observed me, he thought one thing. But then he changed his mind. There we go. Yes. Every change has an origin and a destination state. A falling leaf starts to, still attached to its branch. And just a few mom moments later, it rests on the ground. Finally, I can build a relation be between these states in my theory. Yes. It's starting to come together. I can feel it. Now... To meet the painter, but not like this. That's better. Oh 
Boy later at the artist's workshop. You see far too much, sir. A few hours later. <sighs> that did not go as I had hoped. Days later. Okay. All right. I, I'm still. I'm still em Emil. <laughs> okay, so let's go to Emma first. Uh, now that we are Emma, go to the market maybe, or then go to the cafe eventually. It's cool that we got to meet friends in the previous episode. Whew. I have to pass some time until the members of the radius arrive. That was good. Adam, how can I help you? I would like to buy some meat. Some sausages, please. Oh yeah, we did buy some beef. And we just left it at the table and we didn't even eat it, so... Pretty lady, anything for you? Excuse me, what does it say on this blackboard? Oh, can't you read it? I thought that it was very well written. It says today, 250 grams of chanterelles for 40 heller. One kilo of bolt for one krone. I see, thank you. But why the potato drawing at the top? Potato? That's a... That's a mushroom. Oh, uh, of course. I totally see it now. What do you have on sale? Everything. What's the cheapest one again? <laughs> uh, it there? 125 grams of chanterelles, please. Old lady. Yes? I would like to... Speak up, dear. I would like to buy something. <laughs> Alright, what do you want to buy? I... Um... Oh, one crapper. One crapper, please. I'm buying a lot of stuff. Excuse me. How can I help you? Help the lady. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Flower bender. Shalom, my lady. How about some flowers? To brighten up those gloomy times? No, thank you. Flowers never survive long in my hands. I was going to grow some herbs at one point, but I couldn't find the, the couldn't find the time. Oy vey! <laughs> I see. I see. Ah, a fine lady such as yourself, would truly be interested in some exquisite ointments. Yes. What exactly are you selling? I sell all kinds of useful things. Cures, ointments, and curiosities. A lady might be interested in these eye drops. They make the pupils of the eyes dilate. It is deemed very attractive. The lady could certainly benefit. Excuse me? No disrespect was meant. The noblest of intentions. I only wish to help the lady become... Well... More. I am not interested. My mother used such drops. And she nearly went blind. Well, if you are not going to buy anything, please make room for customers that do. Good day. Hi. Good day, madam. You are interested in a painting? I... I finished a marvelous painting just yesterday. That surely would flatter a lady's taste such as yourself. I call it... Woman with a Parasol. I have several versions of it. Take a look and buy whichever you prefer. Or even all of them. They are 150 kroni each. And you said you painted that? Of course, madam. I'm a master of the arts. I see. Thank you, but I'm not interested. A shame. 
Hmm. Maybe the radius is right by now? Okay. Right where we go. Here. And we are here. Oh, we have to go back. I see. Good day. <laughs> what a lot of stuff. And we didn't even bother cooking it, I think. Oh dear. It's not done yet. Ah, shit. Zale is at the hospital again. His poor sister. <coughs> Are you alright? Don't worry about the cough. It's just a smoke. I forgot his voice. Okay, okay. Joe? Emil, I'm sorry. Your theory. I feel so far out of my depth. I'm drowning in variables. Forgive me, my friend. I appreciate you taking the time. Do you have the papers I gave you? Now, don't be angry. I gave them to Zeller. He's your best chance. Haven't you seen the way he studies me now? How many of them do? They watch every move I make. They want to see me trip up. I'm sure you're wrong. I'd like you to address my class. Me? Or what could I talk about? Math, you ninny. <laughs> ninny. I wouldn't expect you to ex expound upon the care and feeding of Lipizana horses. Well, will you do it? Let me think about it. Very well. But please say yes before you, you return to Berlin. Berlin? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Aren't we supposed to look up on. Um, People from Berlin. How about these two? You need to confirm. Oh no, no, you Serbian fool! Can't you see the equation is solved? Can't you see all the variables still unsolved? Gentlemen, why don't you just ask Emil here? I'm sure you can end your disagreement with a single stroke. What would be the fun in that? What would be the fun in that? Exactly. My god, they just agreed. They're both right. Here we go again. Wonder. At first it might be unsolved, but in time it will be finished. That's it. Jill? What? I'm sorry. I can't stay right now. What? I thought, I thought it was... Wait. Elegic is awake. I need to get out of these uncomfortable clothes. Okay. Blackboard, axiom one, axiom two, axiom three. Every change has an origin in the destina destination state. A change can only be observed in a given time frame. Every change occurs with respect to a given parameter. Hmm. Nikik and Verm argued whether the result of the equation was already found or not. So in a given time frame, a change can... Yeah, it pretty much smooths out, like, you know, collapse? No. Well, yes, but... Ugh. In a given time frame, the change can... What the hell is this? Be ongoing. At the moment of the observation, the change can either be final or ongoing. Yes. The falling leaf doesn't stop falling. 
Just because I stopped looking at it. But where will the change lead then? Oh dear. Nicole! Uh, I'm... Um, know what this looks like. Yes. Last few weeks I saw... I saw a mister going into your apartment. A lot. I thought you were just having an affair with an impossibly handsome man. I didn't understand why you wouldn't introduce me. It would have been difficult. <laughs> That's for sure. Nicole, give me a moment to change. Now I'll try to explain. <laughs> a kid just budges and that's, that's adorable. <sighs> I'm not playing dress up. You're not? Emma? Um, what do you want me to call you then? I'm still Emma, but I feel I'm more than that. Hmm. I know. I'll call you M. That's what you both have in common. M? <laughs> I like that. I wish I could go live with Uncle Leos again. It is Leos. It is Leos. We tried it, but he was too busy running the inn. I'm sure he was. he would love for you to stay with him. If it were possible. I know. Maybe someday. Right? Where are your parents? New York. Nicole, do you understand why I dress as a man as a man sometimes? I think so. And I won't tell. You can't do what you want to do want to either. You can't be who you are. Who you feel you are. It shouldn't matter if you have a dream. Everyone dreams. Everyone should have the right to try and make their dream come true. Look, there's little Gustav. His name means warrior. I wonder if he dreams of being a soldier. Can be, if he wants to. No, he told me he dreams of dessert mostly. Why must only men go to war? I don't know. Anyone who has gotten on the wrong side of Frau Kunster would not want to meet her on the battlefield. Miss Dorfel! <laughs> that's Miss... That's Miss Dorfel! She's a music student. I bet she dreams of playing in a big concert hall someday. She has a talent. She has a talent women are allowed to have. But did you know only men can be first violin in an orchestra? I think we should have lots of dreams, and all of them should come true. That would be wonderful. Wouldn't it? What's the matter? You look funny. What we've become. It doesn't have to be a single dream. You're right. In a change. Goodness gracious, in a change, the destination. It could be a set of states. Nicole, you're a miracle. Nicole! Where are you? It's time for your sewing lesson. Sewing, yuck. Third, we saw Leos. We saw Franz Marker, then we saw Miss Dorful. Forgot the first name. <laughs> this is Emma. I forgot it's Velma? Is it Velma? Anyway. The whole world is full of math. What, surprise, what surprises await me today? Food, just eat, the love of God. Okay, so, next in four. At the moment of the observation, the change can either be final or ongoing. Emma, just you just saw it. 
perfectly formed. Remember, the destination ca state can be many sets of states. There we go. The destination state of observation can be a set of states. Of course. If I turn away while watching the falling leaf, it could land, yes. But it could be picked up by a gust of wind. Or disintegrate into dust. <laughs> Not too likely, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, Emma, you're almost there. Almost there. Meanwhile... Gara, I need your help. Your advice once again, dear sister. Ever since childhood, I've relied on you. Can't stop now. It's the strange Berliner who we have allowed into the ra radius. He vexes me. Days have turned to weeks, and he shows no sign of leaving us. Leave us he must. He is a cancer eating at our little troop. The other fellows resent him. Each time he solves a problem of the weak, I can see the contempt for us in his eyes. And now, this. This. Nenner gave me Shell's current research. It's my field after all. But Shell would never ask me for help. No. It's good, Kara. I think I see where he's heading though. And it is a dead end. I think I could help him, but I hesitate. Why? Because... Because I fear him. I fear he will prove it. He's not there yet. But one day, sooner rather than later, he, would, he could cast all of my work into shadow. I can't allow that to happen, can I? No, you're right as always. I can't allow it. First, I will appeal to his sense of justice. I may be able to convince him to turn away from this line of research and return to Berlin. If not, I must defend myself. You understand that, don't you? Your brother Gernot must defend his honor. Our family honor. I'll go to him. His address is on the, these papers Nana gave me. I'll go. Reason with him. And if he refuses to listen to reason, why, in that case, I will destroy him. The next morning, here we go. Zala. Those terms are fresh off the truck. I've never known how to prepare terms. They're like wood. Ah, you cook, peculiar. I. It's a trick, you see. Most people boil the turnips for 40 minutes or so, depending upon how big they are. Leave it at that. That softens them up. But you aren't done yet. If you're not careful, they lose their flavor. Another reason, another reason I've avoided them. I don't boil, I roast. I cube the turnips and roast them for the same length of time. But there is a secondary step. If you fail to do it, it was they will still not appeal. I'm not convinced. Just wait, hear me out. When the, roast, when the roasted cubes are soft and golden brown, I toss them with some apple cider, vinegar, and parsley. The vinegar locks in and enhances the flavor. <laughs> I don't have time for a secondary step. <laughs> it sounds like it would take ages. <laughs> it sounds... Wait.
To maintain the flavor, a secondary change is required. Now you have it. Won't you buy one? One? I'll buy two. Three. No, a dozen. Hmm. No, jeez. <laughs> no! You can't change yet! You can't ch- Ah, okay, here we go. No. What did the vegetable vendor say? I talked about... Turnips. Turnips. We wouldn't stop going on about turnips. Turnips, turnips, turnips. What else? I talked about... Oh, it's changing a state. Changing a staining state? Hmm. Got them into cubes. But then... No, that's not it. It talks about... Staining a state. Maintaining a state. Yes! What was it he did to keep the flavor in the turnips? Vinegar. Ah! To maintain a state. A change. Change now! <laughs> oh no, it's Nicole. Cool. Nicole! I'm glad you're here. going to cook turnips. Turnips? You know I hate cooking, Emma. Emma? Shell is... That woman! This changes everything. The same evening. We have no weekly challenge this week because Zala has lost faith in us. Lost faith in you, possibly. Zala knows there will always be a place for an applied mathematician like me. Emil? Have you decided, Emil? Will you speak to my class? I will? I will. Thank you. Will tomorrow evening be convenient? The class meet meets at 7. Yes, my friend. I will be there. Joe! I've read your research. It is Claptrap. The, me the meanderings of an unfocused illogical mind. You're wrong, Professor. I am much further along since I wrote those notes. I can hear the lion's song. I believe I am very close to a solution. So let us put, put it on the test, shall we? A debate at the university at your earliest convenience. If you are man enough. <gasps> Sir, if I could explain my theory. You are a fraud, Shell. Your hesitation proves it. I'm speaking to P Professor Nenon's class tomorrow evening at 7. Will that be soon enough? That will do nicely. This should not be confined to Professor Nenon's, Nenon's class. We will debate in the main lecture hall. All the mathem mathematics faculty and students of the University of Vienna. Do you agree? I agree. Philosophy. Bye, Zala. You are wrong to do this. Ah, all will, be all will become clear tomorrow, Nena. And I promise you will be surprised. And then, finally, all will be as it should be again. Nena.
Knock, knock. Emil, I... You forgot to take off Emil's glasses. Interesting. They make me dizzy if I wear them too long. It's my father's prescription. Your name is Emma. Benixek. The first time I visited the radius, I was dressed as you see me now. I'm sorry. I remember a brief interruption. A woman. I don't remember what she looked like. There's no reason you would. It was a woman. Does Zadar know? No. No one does except a little girl upstairs. Will you come in? It's... It would not be proper. I don't understand. We are friends. Emil and I are friends. You are Emma. The two of us together in your room alone? It wouldn't be right, but I... Understand, I think. I also am not what I pretend to be. Are you going through with the debate? Oh, yes. I promise you, I will be there. And I hope... I hope Zala doesn't find out. He would crucify you. The next evening... Why did she go out wearing the glasses? University of Vienna, 7.02pm <laughs> Very easy Professor Shell that appears to be late I cannot say I'm entirely surprised However, we will wait in hope a few minutes, minutes more. <gasps> I think it is uh, well, Shell is a woman. Professor Shell, at last we, sh we see you in your true colors. If that is even your real name. My name is Emma Renixek. Ha! <laughs> A woman! I'm here to debate mathematics, not gender. Gentlemen, I'm sure you agree this farce should be called off. I disagree, Professor. You are a junior professor. You should take care. We disagree. Let us speak. I am a professor of mathematics, but we teach, but they came to learn. Would you deny them that? Would you deny them that opportunity? They will learn nothing here from that woman. And would you? Then would you deny them the opportunity to learn from you? If you want to learn? Let us learn. I defer to my colleagues. Gentlemen, the last time I checked, this was an institute of learning. May the students learn? Gentlemen, to avoid a revolution, I suggest we let the debate continue. I agree. So be it. This ends now. I've read your sorry attempts to come up with a theory of change. <clears throat> Maintaining a state of change. Preposterous. Is it? What you read was incomplete. I could see that. But where your proof was ha headed. Utterly. 
utterly amateurish. I will disprove your theory. Right here. Right now. And I will prove it. Let's begin with the foundations of your, dare I call it, paper. A few minutes later. Hmm. There is a number of things to notice about change. First and foremost, change happens with respect to a given parameter. What the heck was that? That's obvious. Yet I don't, I don't see it in yours on your side. Imagine a falling leaf. It's falling over time. That makes sense. She's right. Salah looks like he's going to explode. Ah, that's what she meant. Yes, I knew that, of course. Next step, then. Now, hold on just a moment. This point right here. For that to work, you have to establish a range of reference. Right. You overlooked that. Yes. That's from my theory. Well, I can't see it here. Only then can you see the states. Every change. Uh oh. What in it? I want to be her. That's my... What? But that's my... A begin. Yes, yes. We know. But you're reciting... You're reciting my... The moment of observation, a change can be final or ongoing. Your time is almost up. Or if the change is indeed ongoing, by the time you've finished observing it, it would be final, yet ongoing. That, madam, is what we call a paradox. No. And... There it is. So, MRA exam is a fraud. What happened? I was so sure. I saw it. But... She was right about the... Uh, wait, she was right about the base of the chain. She was right about the foundation of the chain. There must be more to it. Hmm. Wait a moment. Oh no. There's a mistake in your thinking. Mistake? If you write it like this... Oh, please. You're making a fool of yourself. Change your perspective. See? I... I suppose one could. Let me... Move over. Let me check that. I didn't think of it. I didn't either. It's brilliant. If I stop observing it while it is still falling, the leaf might land on the ground. Or could be picked up by a gust of wind. How poetic. <laughs> Do you know something about changing? No wonder. You are constantly changing from one disguise to another. That could do it. That is a little. Wondering what to wear. <laughs> Your little addendum changes nothing. You're either one or the other. Two states. Nothing in between. Next 
There can be more than one destination state. That's what I've been trying to say. During their observation, a change can be final or ongoing. We can't be certain of all the states, but I can prove the existence of such states. Could you move a little? Hm. She's actually doing it. I can understand her. This is getting exciting. Well, this is nonsense. <clears throat> I've read your paper. <clears throat> your theory has more holes than a gouda cheese. What? What a cheesy comparison. Enough of this. I know you can't prove it. Your... Your theory was incomplete. You were nowhere close to the proof. A state of change cannot be maintained. Oh. <laughs> Falling leaf. Ah, go back to here. It can be maintained. The falling leaf suspended in midair. It's pulled towards the earth, but would be kept afloat by an updraft of equal strength. No. That... That isn't... That? I will have to do some calculations on that. I can see where this is going. That's right. I respect your effort, Professor. Without Professor Zala's help, I would never have arrived at the solution to a problem that has haunted me for years. He was courageous enough to risk his reputation and face me in in debate in his field. Ask yourselves, how many of you would, would have been fearless enough to do that? If I was still wearing my top hat, I would take it off and salute him. Now it's time to make peace. Let us be bold in our theories and in, and in who we are, and keep looking for truth with an open mind. Days later, right here, when I looked through that window, it hit me. At the time, I couldn't fathom what would happen, of course. My theory of change. My own change. So this is where Shell began. Yes. This isn't easy for me. But I thank you for not ridiculing me in front of the faculty. You are a worthy mathematician. Professor Renixer. But enough dwelling in the past. We have theories to, post to postulate, you and I. I can rely on you for that, no? As long as our theories stay real. These word plays are not funny. Am I not being irrational? Ugh. Wait. Not to worry. I still have some more. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> then, nice. Seventy-one percent. Seventy-one percent also spent equal time as a meal. Huh. Ninety-one percent also agreed to being painted. It's because I had to keep the continuum going, but I didn't last playthrough. 
51% also didn't become friends with Nicole. Huh. Ninety-three percent agreed to speak in front of class. Eighty-nine percent decided to spare Zala too. That is curious. Huh, that's strange. Okay. Um, next episode. I see. I'm in the majority, almost. Interesting. Uh, anyway, that was episode 3 of Derivation. So I had to cut it to two episodes because I think each was like, uh, the episode was taking too long compared to episode 1 Silence. And then Anthology was also the same, I had to keep it short. Um, episode 3, it's amazing. Actually, we had to um, experience Emma, Emma's duality, trying to fit in as a mathematician but also being a, a woman, and had to change herself in order to be able to understand more of herself, and eventually accept herself. Because well, it's, it's kind of contradictory to what's, what's happening in there. So she's studying the uh, state of change, and therefore she had to change herself in order to be uh, to be heard. But eventually, uh, at the end, she had to revert back to her original self in order to, well, understand change. <laughs> cool. Um, well, that was that, and well, see you in the next episode, which is episode four closure. Next time, see ya. Bye. <laughs>